Well, what's happening in the world today? Same thing that happened yesterday and, and the, the day, day before, before that. The day before and that. The day before that. Um, th- this is what's been happening. Uh, the reason why we seem to be stuck in a, a little cycle is because mm-hmm. the only thing in the news right now is the same thing. It is seems like. sexual assault mm-hmm. uh, with the president Trump, uh, with uh, oh, two senators, um, with all the Hollywood people. And that's all, and then the Russian uh, stuff with Trump, and and it's yeah. that that's all. I think people today was talking. the first time I've seen something different on yes. CNN. Um, I saw it was snowing in Atlanta, and it was apparently newsworthy for CNN. I was like, really? Okay, must be a slow news day. Well, no, I, actually, the big thing today was uh, the announcement that Jerusalem is going to be the capital. Oh. The, uh, the well, U.S. Yeah, is recognizing the capital of Israel as Jerusalem, which is uh, actually a fairly significant event. But other than that, uh, it's right back to the, oh, Trump is guilty of this, and um, some senator is guilty of trying to slip it mm-hmm. in the young one. Another senator is guilty of trying to slip it in oh, another. Don't forget about that Hollywood producer or that actor or that. Yeah, actor. and, and oh. um, I I've actually decided like I I've been tuning out the news a lot lately. Um, I actually picked up a book for the first time. Oh, books, in, like, yeah. And I think that's that's kind of like where we're where we kind of want to touch on this with this video is because we make videos on the internet, as you can tell, um, and we we want to talk about hot topics in the news and we want to talk about the the new and the breaking news and 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 it's been tough producing a show that isn't the same over and over and over because we can only talk about somebody sexual assaulting somebody so much. And what that means, and and what we have to do as a society, because how many videos? Change. Yeah, how many videos can we make about telling somebody just to be a nice person? Yeah, it doesn't work, you know. So we've gone towards the more like we're trying to go towards entertainment, but fucking everywhere you turn, it's somebody somebody screwing somebody when they didn't want it. Yeah, and and, and it's always like like even uh, time person of the year yeah. which I, I'm glad it ter- ended up turning out this way uh, the Time Magazine's people of the year is the Me Too hashtag that went around the uh, silence breakers the silence breakers and I'm glad it was them and not Kaepernick uh, the the San Francisco mm. 49er yep. um, quarterback I'm glad mm. it wasn't him and I'm glad it, by comparison I'd rather them than him but it's still about that, and it, which I agree, it needs to be brought up, brought to light. It needs to be out, and but does it have to be every other, every story, every? Eh, but the the and we talked about this uh, either last week or the week before. But unfortunately, there's starting to become a lot of pushback. And if you have conversations with the people that you work with, um, I've noticed that uh, a lot of the men are starting to go, well. Um, why? You know, this is... Are we just supposed to, like, roll over and play dead now? And, you know, why... Why does this have to happen? It, they're starting to, to question against what's being said. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, it's like, well, that's when pushback starts to happen. And that's when conflict happens because of this and that. And it's so, almost like we're all looking for fights. You know what I mean? Every, every, everything, every time you go on the internet social media it's it seems like somebody's trying to do something to, to cause controversy to start some sort of um not debate they just want to fight they just want an argument yep. they just want you to stick your foot in your mouth and somebody obliges yeah i'm sure we've stuck our foot in our mouths many times on this channel but um it's just it's very hard to find anything that that you just look for me what i look at and just go well, yeah, even just like watching the other YouTubers that uh, do the same stuff that we do, it, it's still the uh, sexual assault, sexual assault, sexual assault. It's the same Ooh. thing over and over. And, and, it, and it's, you know, it's that echo chamber. And, you know, people talk about an echo chamber all the time, you know, whereas you say something and somebody says it right back to you and it confirms what you believe. I don't like being in an echo chamber. Mm-hmm. I don't like hearing. Every now and then I need to talk to somebody 
outside of a, a bubble and go, do you believe this? And they go, to yeah, give I you believe a different this. Perspective. And then I go, yeah. okay, well, I'm not entirely crazy. But I, I like to hear what other people have to say because I I guess in a way I look for a debate. I don't want to be right. because And every, it seems like everybody's just, they, they want to be right. Maybe yes. I'm just crazy. And, and I'll, unfortunately, I have a, the neurosis of I have to be right. But I understand that being right has uh, a lot more negativity to it than being wrong. So I, in a in, in grand scheme of things, I don't mind being wrong. It, it's it's becoming very evident, because I'm a big sports fan. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan of the Edmonton Oilers. And it's becoming very evident of the I want to be right um, narrative throughout the, the fan base and the social media base of of the Edmonton Oilers because, you know, they've had a crappy season. They, their expectations were high, and they've fallen completely short of it. Mm-hmm. And there's there's a, there's a lot of people out there who are like, well, I, I said this before the season. And it's like, look at me, look at me, look at me, look how right I am now. And it's like, well, okay, you're, you're right. And, and you're pointing out things, and then... And that's fine. You can criticize, and it's you can be a critical thinker. I'm fine with that. But you're not really coming with a solution to the problem. You're just sitting there. This person's bad at what they do. This person's and and in all aspects of life, all we it seems like every news outlet it just points out the problem, points out this, points out, and it's like, okay, but what kind of solutions can we come up with? Okay, everybody hates Trump. Okay, what well, what solution can we come well, up with? The, 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 there's an actual phrase now. It's called Trump derangement syndrome because of just how rabid some people hate Trump. You know, it doesn't matter that he may have done something good. It's the I hate Trump and the attack mm-hmm. mode. And it's just, you know, watching the news attack Trump all the time is just kind of like, get over it you know it's been over a year now um i i he's s- trying to do stuff i see that big time from the edmonton oilers perspective is because our gm he made a couple of trades they were they, they were a couple of good players who we had to move out and people won't just they won't get over it they continually bring it up they continually go well look at this player over here he, who we traded he's doing way better than the person we traded for him Yes, okay, but we made those trades for a reason. He's not on this person on our team. Don't just get over it. And like, what do we do now? Yeah, like we've whipped this horse to death. Can we move on and come up with a solution? Yeah, and and that's how I feel about like these sexual harassment things and stuff like that. Okay, all right. There's there's obviously a problem where some men think that I'm sure women do as well. People in positions of power think they are immune. To, to the rules? To the rules. And so how can we get around that? How can we as a society change that? Well, unfortunately, we can't. Not easy. It's not an easy fix. It's rebuilding from the very bottom, the very core. It's starting with your children. You know what I mean? Like, I, I wasn't raised to think if I'm in a position of power, I can use that power to get what I want. I was used as... Maybe, I. I think I was raised with this this way because the this is the way I think. I'm uh, the type of person who thinks if I work with you, we're going to do better than if I work against you. Or if I try to use you to further myself. If we, in a sense, use each other to further ourselves, we'll get much further ahead. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, I, my thinking is along the same lines of, like, if I have a crew... I need to take care of that crew. Yeah. Because if I take care of them, they'll take care of me. And that's kind of what I want, is I want us to do well so we can all you, my benefit My success from it. hinges on your success. Yeah. And to, to me, it's like when you see these people in power taking advantage of other people, it's like, well, you're just using this person for your own whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're getting success out of it. A lot of these people who are coming out now are higher profile, and mm-hmm. they've gotten success. It's just I don't know. I'm just so know, I'm sick of the news. I'm just come to a point where I'm just like, holy fuck! Just let me watch a thousand movies and well, the, the, and again, that's why play I said video games. I, I literally have pulled out a book and started reading it because there's nothing new in it. <laughs> there's not going to be talking about the same thing again and again and again. So, like, I bet you even just reading a book that I've read a dozen times will be better Better than than watching the news. Yeah. 
So, you know, um, we'll see new stuff, but it's, um, you know, oh, we have to make things better. Great. Okay, how would you like to do that? Yeah, because a lot, unfortunately, what we see a lot of is a lot of, uh, sorry, I'm going to use this, feminists want to burn the system down, and it's like, is the system that broken? I just or feel just like some of the people in that system. I feel like we live in a world where everybody but themselves has to make things better. Mm. You know, it's like I'm not the problem. Everybody else is. And in my world, I go, fuck, what did I do to fuck this up? You know, I, I think that we all need a good self-reflection time. Uh, we need to look in the mirror, ask ourselves, what have I done wrong? Or what have I done good? And we have to just look at ourselves and go, have I ever done X, Y, Z? Have I ever... I think people need to go, what have I done wrong? Not what, what have I done right? Because mm. too many people go, well, yeah, I do I, everything right. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, isn't that the truth? Eh? Oh, my <laughs> God, isn't that the truth? <laughs> it, it's true, because uh, Weinstein... I bet you in no way, shape, or form did he ever think he was doing anything wrong. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, man. It's just, you know, yeah. he's thinking, it's like, they want to get ahead? Well, this is... This is how, yeah. This, this is, is how, how get I ahead. get... Yeah. How, this is how you get ahead. <laughs> so, um, you know, he does... He, you know, until he got caught, you know, he didn't think he was doing anything wrong. You know, It was only a crime. It was only wrong because he got caught. Right. And... Kevin Spacey. Only He's, wrong because he got caught. Yeah, exactly. So it, it's one of those things. And, that, of, and that's, I think that there, there we go. You know what? I think I just, bing, light bulb. That is the problem. Right there is people think it's not wrong because they're not getting caught. But people should think that stuff like that is wrong. Taking advantage of somebody is wrong. But people don't think that. They just, in this, we live in a world, I guess that's, what is it, what is that called? There's a word for that. I'm, 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 for some reason, my brain is going narcissist. But, yeah. like, wow. Self-centered. Oh my oh Selfish. Oh, goodness. Uh, it, yeah. Um, we don't want, necessarily, the, the news cycle to move on. But we need to hear different things in the news we need to start hearing solutions we need to start here for me i need to start i want to start here hearing like how we can make society and humanity better you know what i mean like it's not going to be perfect we're not going to all sit in a fucking well okay hold on, hold, hold, hold on it, i think good solutions need to come out of this because if you talk to a feminist mm. they'll say burn the system down burn them all down all all men are at fault oh, all of them bad. are yeah exactly and it's just like well that's not really we're all solution. fucking bad we're all a bunch of assholes because you know yes i'm pretty sure you could drag out people in my, either one of our histories and show that we were horrible, evil persons. But yeah, absolutely. Um, my, my probably have skeletons in my closet. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I'm fucking Mother Teresa because yeah. I'm not. But neither one of us. Uh, but I'm not gonna tell you that you're worse than I am. Yeah, it's because I know I'm, that's not true. Because I, I don't know. I, you. I'm not trying to do things wrong. I'm trying to do things right. At least as far as I understand. Them. And if somebody points out I did something wrong, I'm going to be like, "Oh, okay. Well, can you tell me how I what I did wrong, and can we talk about it? Can we can we come to a, a solution on yeah. or it's like it, do if if a man asks a question, what did I do wrong, or a woman for that matter, anybody, you need to say this is what you did wrong, and this is why you, why did, you did wrong. wrong, and then they can go, oh, it starts for I think it, I don't know. I'm just so honesty telling the truth if somebody asks a question don't laugh at them and, and unfortunately this is something that happens in relationships when uh, one member asks the other what did I do wrong and the other member goes well you should know it's like um, I'm guilty of like I'm guilty of like giving my giving my significant other the, the what are you st- why are you asking me that question you know the stupid look when you're like what she always goes don't look at me like I'm stupid and I'm going oh fuck I'm doing it again <laughs> doing it again because you think in your brain you're going well you should know the answer to that but it's like well obviously you. but she does it to me too 
Yeah, like we, we both it, do. Unfortunately, it's one of those things of, she asks the question, you should kind of answer it, because she might actually not see what she's doing. And I think you have to afford people... I think we need to start living by a definite one. There is no such thing as a stupid question. There is no... But there is... But it's, it, it, even though you may think it's stupid, and you go, in your brain, you go, oh, why the fuck is that person, you know? Don't... Because remember, other people think differently. Yes. You. Just because you think... Yes. Of something a certain way doesn't mean that somebody else thinks okay. of something. That, uh, Don't be scared to stand up for yourself in this world too. You know, like that's one thing that I think that I'm I'm pretty proud of myself for is that well, I don't care who you are in a company or in in a position of whatever. I'm gonna look at you and go, you're doing something stupid, and I'm gonna call you out on it. I don't like if you're my boss, if you're my general manager, say, I'm gonna look at you and go, no, what are you doing? If I think you're doing something stupid... Uh, see, whereas I've learned eh, eh, for some of the people that I've worked for that uh, don't say anything. They don't like it, 100%. They, they don't. They don't because they, like, they don't like being called out. But me, I'm like, well, no, I'm going to... Like, I've... Man, I've challenged some high-ups in companies no, no. before. Okay. And it got it's me in a lot of trouble. Y- yeah, I've gotten in trouble Ooh, before. Boy. And But it, just... I, I've learned in some cases, like, you know what? He's I just think it's actually not worth doing that to because he will make my life mm. more miserable that than sucks, it's actually man. worth. It sucks when. What, I hate that. I, you know, I hate that when people are like that. They, when they, when they get personal about business, I just hate that. Like, well, there's, man, this fucking rabbit hole. Fuck, we're just in these. There must be a lot of good carrots in these rabbit holes tonight. Jesus. Well, this video, I didn't even know what this video was about. This video was about nothing. <laughs> it, hey, it was we're about like the Seinfeld of the internet. Uh, Fuck yeah. Yeah, I see. That's Hell kinda... yeah. Fuck yeah, we're a show about nothing. Th- that's what the whole show was about. Man. Was how there's nothing in the news. No, there's just, yeah, there's nothing new. There's nothing there's And look nothing at where we got to. Go. Yeah. Oh, where did... Oh, Self-reflection. Shit. Every once in a while, you just you gotta reflect on yourself. Yeah. Always look inside first before you look outside. As the great you are the problem. Yes. Mm-hmm. Not other And it's people. gonna suck when you realize that. When you yeah. realize that, you're gonna be like, fuck. It's gonna be the worst feeling in the world, but it is. It's gonna be, it, it'll be the start of a new you. Anyways, uh thanks for tuning in to nothing. I hope you enjoyed the nothing. And uh yeah. Tell us about nothing. Down below. Tell us about nothing. And hit that subscribe button, because there are times that we actually do talk about stuff that is intriguing and fun. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. See, sometimes we hit it out of the ballpark, and then some days it's Ooh. just like... We go, ooh. Wait, I started with a point somewhere yeah. over there. There was a point um, somewhere. Where'd it go? Crap. Ah, well. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later. See ya.